Hey guys, Phil from Tennessee here. Thought I'd give you an update on how we're doing. It's getting dark out. Uh, this is the top where I tied in. I actually made a piece to go mount and uh, cut a groove in it instead of using two pieces of wood. And I'll tell you what, this is very solid. Uh, coming down there's the uh, piece that I cut out down the hall I replaced this sill and uh, floor joint floor plate glued and screwed all the way out haven't cut it off for length yet I got a temporary piece of plywood in the floor my question is this that is 5 8 oriented strand board. This is 3 quarter inch marine grade plywood. Uh, the marine grade is going to hold up a whole lot better, but man, it's heavy. What do you think? Should I go back with 5 8 oriented strand or the 3 quarter? I'm going to pull all of this up and just replace the whole thing because it might just be easier to do that than try to piecemeal this in although if I use oriented strand I could uh, put some stringers in with two by threes and it would be just as strong as ever but the question is is marine grade plywood going to be way too heavy or should I go with the oriented strand I mean any strands cheap too I mean marine grade plywood's not cheap uh, by the way all of this is all treated um, this this is the most solid wall on the trailer now because it's all glued and screwed together everything was glued drilled and then put together with lifetime warranty uh, deck screws of various lengths the interesting part was tying that together with the old to the new uh, there's a stringer in the top that ties the two together man is it rock solid that's another question I had is some of these walls flex and pretty well I mean, is that designed that way or are they supposed to be relatively stiff like the one that i built i'm kind of worried about swaying in traffic and stuff and cracking walls actually instead of bending like it's supposed to let me know what you think i appreciate it and we're moving along things are coming along uh this was a couple days worth of work here Took some time off from work to get this done. As you can see, the whole front's gone now. I've got the walls built, but I've got to get this end put together so that I can extend it out and then put the front walls on. After that, we can close her up and put the last sheet of decking on and put the rubber roof on. Hopefully, that's this weekend. We'll see how things go. Thanks for tuning in.